Hey everyone, and I've recently been making some videos about the predictions and the predictive uh, feature of the keyboard. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add new and multiple new words to the predictions. So let me show you what I mean by that. If you go to your messages, and let's say you wanna type in like a new message, and let's say I'm just gonna add and like type in some of the words, and as you can see, it already gives me some predictions for them because this is how it works, but as you can see, it gives me some personalized new words for the prediction, so it's very useful and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can add it. The first thing you gotta do is go to the settings, then go to the general section, and here one of the things is the keyboard. It's right here under the, the date and a time. So tap on the keyboard, multiple different things in here, multiple different stuff. Uh, if you scroll down a bit, here is the predictive text, which you can disable and enable. However, this doesn't apply to it. You can even have this disabled and turn off and still add new words because the new words feature is basically text replacement. As you can see, I typed in the GLD, which is a shortcut for so glad it helped you which is a shortcut with which I just made up. It's my personal choice. And whenever I just type in GLD, my predictions, the keyboard is predicting that I want to type that in. And if I type these three letters and hit space, then the, uh, the shortcut is going to turn to the full phrase. In order to create a new one, you can tap on the plus icon and you can type in the phrase and the shortcut. So let's say it's going to be like, I don't know, subscribe. So I'm going to type in the full word and as a shortcut is going to be SCB, whatever. So hit save, hit come back to the general keyboard section and I'm going to turn on the predictive. So I'm going to go to the messages right now. And when I delete this text right here and I'm going to type in SCB. B, you can see that it immediately tells me to subscribe, even though it has nothing to do with these, uh, with this three letters, but because it is a shortcut, which I personally created with this purpose in my mind, it's going to show it as a brand new word in uh, the predictions of uh, the iOS keyboard. Now I can either tap the word subscribe or hit the space and it's going to be typed in. So that means that you don't really need to tap on it in the predictions bar or here at the page at the top, but you can also just uh, use your keyboard normally, hit space after the shortcut is just going to show up automatically. So it's a very simple way to add the new words. Again, it's in the text replacement and you can add as many as you want. So yeah, that would be it from me. Hope the video helped you out and hope that you found it valuable. For more videos like these in the future, make sure to subscribe to Foxtech and we can see each other in the next video. Thanks a lot. See you there.